Well, welcome to another Fireside Sketches. It's been a while since I put up anything. Uh, thanks for being patient with me. Uh, for the first time in my adult life, I've taken some time to live without uh, deadlines and commitments. For a while, I wondered if I would ever post another video to YouTube. Uh, it seems there's so much out there already. Uh, the conclusion I came to, uh, it's not, I guess, how many subscribers or even the amount of feedback that I get. Uh, the important and eternal things are always invisible. And they're almost always impossible to see with our limited vision. So if these videos uh, of uh, me painting and demonstrating bring even one of you a bit of peace and joy. I'm determining that it's worth the time invested that it takes for me. In this painting, uh, I'm revisiting my Native American subject matter. In an earlier episode, I shared with you my connections and love for this culture and these people. So it's natural that I create some paintings about it. Years ago, I did a series of similar paintings to this based on prayers that I have. Some of the titles of those were Prayer for Peace, Prayer for Wisdom, Prayer for the Fallen, Prayer for the Warrior. In some way, every painting I create is a visual prayer a way to pray without words, expressing something really that I have no words for. This painting is about that very thing. Now you'll see I'm not interested in exact proportions or photographic realism in this piece. I purposely exaggerate proportions and paint more of an impression or expression of the horse and the rider and the landscape. What I'm really trying to do is to bridge the place between our dreams and reality. To open our eyes to things that we don't see. And to a way of seeing I believe with all my heart that painting should have more to offer the viewer than just a pretty decorative appeal. That at their best, they should inhabit that space between this world and the next. And that they should usher us into that thin place where awe and wonder and the mysteries of this life brush up against eternity. So I hope you'll enjoy uh, this episode and enjoy watching the process. And thank you for taking the time to watch it. Uh, for the subscribers to my channel, some news for you that you may be interested in. I, I'm going to post on my website uh, some dates for some outdoor on location painting workshops that I'm gonna do for you. Uh, they'll be free. Uh, they will be limited in terms of the number of people. Uh, so it'll be like a first serve uh, kind of thing. Uh, you know, if you the people that will sign up first will get the, the the spots. But anyway, if you're interested in signing up, uh, maybe the best way to do that is to email me, uh, and I'll send you the info. You can email me by going to my website. That's just rodcrossman.com, and then click on the contact info, and uh, you'll be able to email me there.
I'm hoping to do these in several locations uh, around the country as we travel. Uh, so even if you're not from uh, the Midwest, I live in Indiana, for those of you who don't know, uh, don't hesitate to, to get in touch with me. We may be able to do one in your area, something that you could you could get to. Well, I wish you all great joy, endless peace, and a persistent hope in all things good. And we'll see you the next time. To the park, did I see you today? Did I see you today? And if I show you my heart, if I show you what I got, is it safe enough? What is safe enough? And every time I falter, I gotta take you off the altar. Gotta change up the altar I'm giving back all I've stolen Hey, we're golden And as I run to the river And I kneel and I Shiver, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And as I go to the wise, saying, How do I know? They say, Time, just time, time, give it time. And every time I falter, I've got to take. Back who I've stolen Hey, we're golden
Hello. 